We are tracking several wildfires tonight. The largest burn happening now in Utah County. In less than 24 hours, the Goose Point fire has charred a large part of West Mountain, growing by nearly 10 times, reaching 6,500 acres tonight. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson is in Utah County, where fire crews have just given her an update. And Brittany, what's the latest? The latest, Emily, is those burnout operations just finished moments ago, and uh, the fire remains at 6,500 acres and is 60% contained. I want to show you the path of destruction behind me. You can see the flames racing up this mountainside tonight. Again, crews were doing burnout operations on the southeast side of the fire. That has finished. The crews fighting this fire know this mountain very well. They noticed that this year the fuels are a lot more continuous and thick than what they've dealt with in the past, which is expected with the type of winter that we've had. Now, the blaze burned down power poles in the area and at one point threatened radio towers in the observatory on top of the mountain. There are homes in the area of this fire. Although there's no immediate threat, one man who lives 150 yards away says it's nerve wracking and he's taking precautions in case the fire does come down this mountain. When it started this morning, started getting up on top of this ridge, I said uh, maybe I should uh, just let them know that what we ought to be doing to try and prevent. And uh, we have a lot of good neighbors who have brought their water truck out to yeah. wet things down and keep the roof wet. Yep. And the Bureau of Land Management has issued a fire prevention order restricting access to the BLM lands in the vicinity of this fire. So that means no target shooting, camping or unnecessary traffic. This fire did spark yesterday as a result of the machinery. And while fire investigators are not elaborating at this time on how that did start it or what machinery, uh, they are saying that this did start on private lands. Reporting live tonight in Utah County, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.